welcome back everybody to another terraria one-off video today we're checking out a mod that adds in bulldozers that's right you want to see one boom insane i know but yeah before we start using the bulldozers obviously let's check out the recipes now one more thing before we check out the recipes these are not mod reviews i actually have a bunch of mod reviews separate in its own playlist on this channel and you know they're a lot more professional in depth they have the pros and cons things that i like things that i hated some of them even have a rating but these are not mod reviews these videos that i'm doing they're one-offs of me just messing around they're more of a showcase of just me messing around with the mod seeing how fun it is showing you guys how fun the mod could be and also you know leaving the video a little bit ambiguous so you guys can explore the mod for yourself but yeah let's go ahead let's look at the recipes here so for the key to a dig dug dog the original bulldozer is just 25 iron 25 copper 25 silver 25 gold and obviously it's respective other ore if you don't have these aka lead what's this one tungsten is that one what's this one tin there we go and platinum and then a furnace now this is the og one not the upgraded version here's the upgraded version which requires the original key 30 cobalt 30 mithril 30 adamantite and of course a forge either adamantite or titanium and then obviously titanium or calcum palladium but yeah let's just put it to use all right let's just put it to use nice and simple you do need a nice flat area to spawn it in because i don't think it lets you spawn it in on areas that aren't flat as you can see but if we come to a flat area boom bouncing up and down just got a nice little animation and you just you just go ahead you just start destroying stuff now obviously the upgraded version probably goes faster is what i'm assuming yeah it goes a lot faster and uh it's a lot stronger obviously in terms of what it can break but we're gonna put that to the test today okay as you can see we got a nice little uh wall right here of ores and we're gonna see how far each one of these bulldozers can get so let's go ahead let's start with the regular bulldozer and let's see how deep into this ore plethora plethora of ores or veins it can get into pretty much what i'm trying to say let's see how deep it can get so let's go ahead i'm assuming this is gonna be able to make it a hellstone no problem but I don't know. We might get stuck at the Crimtain. Okay. Okay, Hellstone. And it just stops right there. It literally kicked me off when we got here. So, I mean, it made it all the way to Hellstone. So this covers every pre-hard mode ore. Unless there's a pre-hard mode ore from like a mod that's harder to mine than Hellstone. I don't know. But not bad at all. All right. So let's set it up so we can see how far the super bulldozer can go through. And I'm going to put it to the test against some modded ores too. All right. So we got us a lineup here in terms of ore cobalt mithril adamantite chlorophyte i don't remember i uh lodestone valadium luminite uh i don't remember i i don't remember i part two lumin illuminite wait which one is this one's luminite or is this one illuminite this one's luminite yes and this one is illuminite and this is eula bloom what the hell are the name of these charred perennial and something with a c cryonic there you go <laughs> got it right so let's see how far the super bulldozer can get through i'm assuming it's gonna get all the way up to i don't know <laughs> i don't know honestly I, don't, I actually don't know the powers of each modded ore so we'll see if we even get past calamity so far looking so good got through chlorophyte easily okay shit we might make it to the end it's looking good it's looking good spoke too damn soon so that actually was not bad at all but there's a couple other things i want to put this to the test to all right let's start with this test right here i read on the forum page i don't know if it was just a joke or something but uh it said make sure you don't fall or something like that on the forum page so we're gonna see what happens when i fall i'm assuming it's not gonna be anything cool it's just gonna be the mount disappearing right before we hit the edge but i don't know we we'll see right here that's upsetting we're gonna put the bulldozer to a real 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 test okay one test that even nuclear bombs and tactical nukes cannot accomplish themselves let's do it chest that's right we have a bunch of chests lined up here and uh let's see if the bulldozer can take them out all right here it goes No way! What the heck? <laughs> what in the hell? Who let him out of the basement? We're putting this to the real test now. We took out chests with no items in them, but now look. There's items in here, and it kind of looks like they spell out something. I don't know what it spells out, but let's go ahead. Let's see if it was just a fluke, because, you know, it easily could have been. Oh, 
yeah it was, it was it was a fluke all right we got a bunch of more items to test here i just placed a bunch of furniture sundials what are these things called plantarians terrarium something like that but uh let's see the goal is to get to the uh the golem spawn over there the altar so let's see how far we can get okay looking good so far we're just pretty much eating through everything as expected honestly but here we go oh it stops right there okay interesting i feel like i don't know if it's possible to program but i feel like maybe if the bulldozers could be programmed to have the strength of your current pickaxe in your inventory is that possible i don't know mod developers let me know in the comments because you know i always got a lot of mod developers watching i actually don't know if i do so one last thing people probably want to see before we end the episode off let's see it against enemies and i'm very interested too does this kill enemies Sadly, no. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode. I don't know how long it is. I don't know how short it is. But uh, make sure to follow my Twitch because I should be streaming on Twitch today. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash gamers101. And yeah, this is a nice little fun mod. Like I said, these are mod showcases slash me just messing around with mods. These are not mod reviews. You will know when it's a mod review because it will say usually say mod review. <laughs> but I'll leave the playlist in the description to link the, the link to all my mod reviews and stuff. Because I've done a good bit. I've done one on Tremor, Thorium, Calamity spirit i've done one on consolaria when it was just ocarum i've done one on uh the dragon ball z mod there's a bunch of mods that i've done uh, mod reviews on juice mod a whole bunch and i plan to do more in the future the thing with the mod reviews they just take a long a lot more time to create because i like to you know play through the mod a couple of times and uh see how i feel about it because these these aren't really i'm not really reviewing anything in terms of like you know whether i like the mod or not whether a certain aspect of the mod i enjoyed or a certain aspect of the mod i dislike because some of these mods i don't get enough time to play to just be like five out of ten like nah i need to play through it a couple of times in my playthroughs to see how it is but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed as you can see i have the omega core on it's not making me go any faster sadly all right here i am doing some extra testing at the end of the video i got a couple things that popped into mind that i want to test now let's start with this it's a nice flat surface so let's put this on we're gonna run with the omega core and then we're gonna activate the uh bulldozer mount and see if it works okay <laughs> okay okay i see <laughs> honestly that was amazing i kind of want to do it again what happens if we do it on asphalt <laughs> okay <laughs> one more time what <laughs> it just stopped all right here's another thing i want to test portal gun boom and boom don't tell me i just fall out All right, last thing right here. I have the burden breaker and the omega core on. Now check this out. If we start running, let's go, let's go this way. All right, probably let's just tear all this, you know, get this out of the way. Let's run this way, and then I'm gonna activate. <laughs> let's run this way. I'm gonna activate this, and we're gonna turn around. Okay, interesting. We could straight up just ride the tractor or the bulldozer backwards. Beautiful. I will see y'all next time. Bye bye. Jump off. Oh my god. We just witnessed a suicide, bro. Oh, it wasn't even that far before. Watch the moves. I would go under there if I didn't drown in like five seconds. Mod Mapers love your videos. For some reason. Oh god. They don't call me clutch rate. I tried my best. Wait, I got an idea. What the fuck was that? I told them, I was like, yo, this, this shit's gonna bump. Tons of people are gonna get it. Oh shit, here we go. Darkness seeps through your veins. Ooh. No homo? Question mark? I'm hearing new noises now. What is that? I gotta sneeze. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what a strategy. I shot her so many times. Oh, what the fuck? What she the killed hell? you. Hello? She's <laughs> driving backwards. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a train. Oh, I'm gonna jump on the train. Who? Who? Can you hop on the train? <laughs> Wumbo Sloth is actually gay too, so it works in his way. The more you know, Wumbo Sloth is gay IRL, because I know him IRL. And I know he's gay because I'm his lover.
<gasps> we got it. <gasps> oh my fucking god. It has been done, boys. 